Hello, I am Gertrude. I am Chinese, originally from Malaysia. Rahasha, what message do you have for us today? We are from the Ra Collective and all may call us Rahasha. Yes, you have been feeling us stronger than before. We have been coming on you stronger than before. Rahasha, am I at a point where I can call on my higher self to step in and take me over? You explain what a walking is. A walking is actually the higher self stepping in and taking over the entity. My third density self is so full of self-doubts and negativity that I think it would be so much nicer if my higher self could step in and take me over. Is that possible? It would be possible if you have reached that level, but you have not reached that level yet. So first you have to strive, work until you have reached the level where you are one with the infinite creator. When you are one with the infinite creator, then yes, your higher self can step in and take over. Rahasha, I strive to move forward ahead by being bold. It came to me that we could achieve more by being bold than not by being bold. Is that a correct step? Yes, because your boldness is not empty. It is fed by us. We have been telling you that your greatness is round the corner. And that was more than six months ago. And we have been telling you that six months from now, you will be channeling not only us, but Pleiadian, Arturian, Archangels, and engage in mediumship work, that you will be conducting courses, teachers on YouTube, and you will have a website where people can sign up and attend classes from you or the like. So your bold step, as you call it, was in affirming to yourself what we have been telling you. So Rahasha, what about enlightenment? Why am I so pulled towards enlightenment? It is because you are on that path. With every awakening, you see more clearly you feel more clearly, you reach closer and closer to fourth density, and you get closer and closer to the divine, reaching the divine, and that is enlightenment. You are being drawn to enlightenment because that is the path you are walking. That is the goal that feeds you with passion, desire, hope, love, and everything that is good. And as a result, it is a good and worthwhile aspiration of yours to push towards enlightenment. Do not think that it is being proud or being egoistic because what do third density being on planet Earth do, but to strain forward to reach the divine. It is the goal of every living being to reach the divine. Not only every human being, but every living being. 
from God you come, and to God you will return. And so there is in you that longing, that yearning for the divine. Some do not experience it as strongly as others. But for you, from a young age, you felt that, that call to reach the divine. And it is a goal you have always been striving after, no less now. And for that reason, you are so close to us and love us so much because you know we are very close to the divine and we are. So move boldly forward. As we taught you from the beginning, do not look left or right. Just press on forward. Look straight ahead at your goal and know that you will reach it. And should others learn from you, the bonus to strike forward, reaching to the divine, then that is one good you do for others. Rasha, I, a part of me thought that would be pride. No, truth is not pride. What you were stating is the truth. Your soul, every fiber of your being, is reaching out towards the divine. It is engaging your entire being, your entire body, your entire self. And it is a good and worthy cause straining towards the divine. Because to reach the divine is your ultimate goal, and you will reach it. Do not think in terms of your human term, enlightenment. Think of it in terms of your journey. Awakening and being enlightened, awakening and being enlightened. And that is the path you walk slowly, gradually, and surely towards the divine. Rahasha, this past week, I can feel you so strongly. Why am I feeling you so strongly this past week? The feeling is different also. It's like concentrated energy. And my third eye chakra. It is us, and yet not so much us. It is your third eye chakra bursting open, so to say. Once it bursts open this way, when you look, you would be able to see many things. And when you look, you do see many things. Mostly, you see the other planets, the planets of light, where you come from, where we are. You close your eyes, you open your inner eyes, and you can see them, like in the far horizon. And when you look inside yourself, you can see them too. These other worldly planets, Whereas in the past, you feel homesick and a part of you long to just die and be there. Now that you have us, now that you are able to assess your planet, our planet, and to astral travel, you feel less homesick and your homesickness become manageable. Do you not feel it? your entire body tingling, coming alive. You are able to sense us around you in ways you were not able to before. Soon you will be able to sense not just us, but others. 
the ascended masters around you, the souls around you, us, angels, archangels, spirit guides, they are all around you. You can feel them, though you do not see them. In time to come, you will be able to see them. What you could do is, with intention, ask them to print their image in your mind's eyes, to print their image on the screen of your mind, where you would be able to see them. Right now, we see with you an Ascended Master, Saint Germain. You are not familiar with him. You do not even believe he exists, but yes, he did exist. Who else do we see around you? We always see Jesus, Mary, Kuang Yin with you and Archangels, and we are with you all the time, for you do call us in very often, and we appreciate that. We hope this answer your questions for today. Do you have a final question? Yes, what message do you have for the collective? As you could see, the earth is continuing to purge itself, flooding in California and other places in distress. But as we remind you again and again, keep your faith. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Keep your eyes on the fourth density. Some of you are already getting very close. You probably get glimpses of it now and again, like this channeler does. And that is the hope for you during this time of distress. But in the midst of all that, there are always joys and pleasures in life. Do not feel guilty about indulging in the joys and pleasures the earth offers you. Just because others are suffering, it does not mean you have to suffer too. Because for those who are suffering, they get moments of joy also. Because strong is a person's survival instinct. And instinctively, a person knows that to survive, they have to find joy and hope. Even in the midst of darkness and suffering, a little something could bring them great joy. For instance, discover a photo memento of theirs in the midst of rain's nature causes. That brings them much joy. And it is this little joy that carries them and you forward on this path as the earth moves towards fourth density. And we end this in the love and unity of the one infinite creator. And we thank you for listening to us.